Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Land 2. Last time, I trudged through the pumpkin zone, getting a secret exit. But of course, as I mentioned before, there is two here. Second being in this, what well, I can only assume to be a church or cathedral. Odd. Also ghost goombas. Hmm. Another thing to note is that this music appears to be a remix from one of the uh, bonus tracks in the first game. Which is interesting. I mean, stylistically the two games are nothing alike. But a uh, throwback was always nice. So yeah, nothing too special about this stage. Just um, watch out for the ghost goombas. I don't think they could be killed at all. Unless like, you had a star man or something, I suppose. Right, now I'm here. Secret exit isn't too far. Here we are. Just get a running jump here. And hover here. Ow. Lost my uh, body ability, but made it to the exit. Which will cause me to end up again outside the world. And in a rather difficult part of the stage, I might add. This one's based around Fire Mario, if you didn't guess. Some tricky platforming to be had in this one, actually, come to think of it. Really have to go out of your way to uh, watch out that you don't die. Yeah, no, thank you. Not falling for that one again. Actually, compared to the last bonus stage... It's quite difficult. I have to go through the stage again, don't I? Yep. Now you see, that's a dick move if I ever did see it. You lose the stage, you go back. Way back. Oh well, as long as I get another... Carrot here. Keep trying to say bunny suit, but this is a dragon quest. But, um, yeah, that was embarrassing, but as you can see, the stage isn't easy compared to most stages in this game. No, thank you. Don't want to lose the ability I worked so hard to get now. This time I made it without losing my power. Maybe in that case I can, uh, well, use it. I'd rather use it to cheese the hell out of this level, thank you very much. And that was that. Who? And now there are booze everywhere. Right, of course, I suppose I do have to show off the uh, regular exit in order to get there. Not quite strapped for footage, so why not carry on? I already showed you most of the stage, but oh well. Waypoint again. Ow. Now, the 
first time, go all the way down the steps. And that's it, actually. Okay. So there wasn't that much more to show off, but oh well. Extra lives, just what I needed. Just kidding, of course, but you know. Boss level. Appears to be full of leech, it's kind of bizarre. Yeah, that was a bit reckless of me. Very reckless. Let's try that again. some sort of ability up there. Apparently not. Nope. Is there no power up here? Ah, so there is. And I came quite close to losing it too. Keep a hold of this, thank you very much. I'll gladly take that. We'll be getting close to the boss at this point. Probably best to avoid these, otherwise I'll get caught in the old invisible block trap. And that's never fun. Aha! Uh -huh. Boss time, huh? Against a witch, and... Wow, those spikes in the ceiling hurt you, okay. Don't think I've ever run into those, but... Nah, she's not too hard at all. Just avoid the moving platforms, and that'll be it. And that's five out of six. Of course, that only leaves one to go. be the turtle zone. Let's go. And of course you get eaten. Bizarre. But anyway, first stage. Classic water level, of course. What with the blurps and all. This time I got their name correct, of course. As usual, you can shoot fire underwater, naturally. And apparently those can't be killed by fire. Hmm. No replacement power-ups, it seems. There's always an abundance of power-ups, I should be good. However, here, of course, you have to use some vestige or strategy in order to get through unscathed. And there. That end bell is um, surprisingly easy to get. Nice. 
Right, and with that out of the way, I think I'll save the rest of this world for next time, because likelihood is, after this, I'll be going straight on to the final level itself. Well, see you next time, then.